And something that also came to me while you were talking about all of this is how actually, you know, while you're focusing, when your locus of control is inner, you're actually becoming more compassionate, not to the world, but to yourself. How as a leader, as a CXO, developing compassion can actually help not only yourself, but your environment and the people that surround you? Oh, it's so good. It's such a great, such a great question. I think that so much we're so worried about the external many times. And so we're so worried about, oh, I'm not, I'm not in this place where I should be. I'm not where I should be here. Or, you know, then you get into the comparison thing and then you get into what am I not doing? Well, let's celebrate what you are doing. Let's just celebrate, you know, in there's a, for, for those of you who do get the book at thatsocknowwhat.com, you actually get the free 40-page journal. I actually have it right wow. here. So this is the, yes, the free 40-page 40, 40 journal. And what it is, it's basically a self-healing toolbox. And one of the questions that I have in the very beginning is, you know, a lot of times we're so on the go that we don't even take a moment to honor ourselves and no one else is going to do it for us. Okay. As, as, as well as we are. So we, this is a lesson in self-compassion where we can, and if this is very simple, but you know, for those of you listening, you can just even close your eyes right now, just for a second. We're going to do this very quickly, but I have tons of these more in the journal, but just put your hand over your heart and, you know, take a moment to just feel and notice if at all, notice what feels maybe off, what feels like you've been neglecting it. Perhaps maybe that your left toe is in pain or your, or your right toe is feeling a little bit more out of sync or maybe that you've been sitting for a long time, so you're feeling your right shoulder more than your left shoulder. But when you put your hand over your heart for just do it for two, two more seconds, what you're doing is you're acknowledging you. That's what you're doing. You're acknowledging you even in the busyness and the craziness and all of the ruckus in a day for a reset to remind yourself, okay, I got this. I'm actually the only one that matters. My opinion is the only one that matters. And I have a you know, journal exercise along with this, heart exercise, because when we put our hands over our heart, we're recentering ourselves. We're remembering that, okay, I can go inward right now when somebody is demanding something from us, because everyone is demanding something. When you check your email, you're getting demands. When you're checking <laughs> your phone, you're getting demands. When you're checking every, you know, when, when you check whatever, the papers that come on your desk, the, the requests that come on your desk, you're checking demands. What about you? This is just a quick check-in. Takes, you know, take your right hand, take your left hand, put it over your heart and say, <sighs> just a breath. And just say, okay, I got this. What do I need from me right now? And the easiest thing to say is, all right, I got this. And you've got this and you've come a long way. And it could even be appreciating simple things. You know, it might sound so silly, but to say, wow, I appreciate my legs that have carried me to doing what I'm doing. I appreciate the back that has allowed me to sit for days and days on this very, you know, uncomfortable chair, but to support me upright so that I can write these emails, I can write this book, I can present to people, you know, I thank my back for supporting me to be upright, to write all of these emails, to write this newsletter, to write this book that it's carried me for you know this amount of time. I think it's so important to acknowledge ourselves. And you probably notice when you put your hand over your heart, you're actually feeling you. 
And most of us don't even take the time to really honor ourselves. If you put both of your hands over your heart, it's just that signal. And a lot of times it's, it's signaling our brain to activate our rest and digest. It's kind of like saying, okay, before you react, before you fight, flight, freeze, you know, the primal brain in us that are, that, that goes into fight mode of like, okay, cortisol's running high. I have to run after something. The fear brain of us that has to say, what's next? What's next? What fires I have to put out? No, you're saying, I got you. Yeah. You can take a moment and you can say, thank you. Thank you for doing what you're doing right now, even when you're so tired, even when you're so exhausted that you got this. It's a very simple practice. It's tuning back into ourselves and really being grateful for just, and it takes one moment, you know, and I think for so many of us who are trying to do such incredible work in the world and what we've seen in the last few years, you know, people, I know a lot of us have lost loved ones, you know, during the pandemic. This is one way of saying, I got you. You do not have to fear what's coming up and to honor yourself. That is cultivating the muscle of compassion. And if we're judging ourselves for it, you know, let's, let's journal about that. Why are we judging ourselves? What, what are we so afraid of in acknowledging how far we've come? And I have a whole bunch of these small exercises like this to start building the muscle of self-compassion. Mm -hmm.